So let's do perpendicular through a point that's on the line, okay? So again, it's not bisecting because this point's not a midpoint. In fact, remember, this is technically a line. It's going to go on forever, so you can't bisect it. So I want to go through point P. So it's the only point I got. So I'm going to set my compass up there, and I'm going to take my compass and get a measurement. And what I want is I want an arc, basically a semicircle that's going to go through this line, okay, with center at P. So I'm going to set up my compass. That's pretty centered there. I need my pencil. Oops, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. I need a better pencil, don't I? Let's get another color here. Let's go with the pink. There we go. Let's alter that a little bit so I can get, there we go. So I've got an arc going through, but hey, I'm gonna have to extend that. So let's extend that a little bit. There we go. So now I'm going to go from each of these new points. I'm going to call that point A, that point B. And I'm going to find me another point. So I'm going to try to find a point on this side. You could find that point on this side. There's nothing wrong with that. But since I've got all this garbage here, I'm going to go up here where it's a little cleaner. So I'm going to go great. I'm going to set up at point A. I like to make my compass a little bigger. And I'm going to put an arc here. Now I'm going to go over to point B, keeping the same measurement, and do another arc. And there we go. Now I've got a second point. Remember, you always need two points to make a line. So there's my second point. I can connect those, and we have a perpendicular through point P. Okay? So let's look at that on delta math. It's all the same thing. Here's my point, point D. So I'm going to grab my compass. I'm going to set up there, and I'm going to make any radius I want. But hey, I'm going to get my circle. I like going below the line. You could go above the line if you wanted to. It doesn't matter. Now that I've got that, I've got my two. I'm going to pull my compass off for a second. I've got my two points here. So I'm going to take my compass. I'm going to put it at one of the points. I like to make my radius a little bigger. And I'm going to draw my arc. Take my compass center, go across to the other intersection point, and draw my arc. There we go. We've got it. So now I've got my two points, one there, one down here. So I'm going to get my line tool, click on D, drag that over here, and there we go. we got a line that's perpendicular and through point D. Submit that answer. There we go. Good. Keep practicing.